Hello, everyone. My name is Adam Crawley. I'm a faculty member in the School of Education in the Literacy Studies program, and I'm going to read this book in recognition of Band Books Week. So, In Tango Makes Three by Justin Richardson and Peter Parnell, and this has been on the American Library Association's Band Books list multiple years. It's based on a true story. In the middle of New York City, there is a great big park called Central Park. Children love to play there. It has a toy boat pond where they can sail their boats. It has a carousel to ride on in the summer and an ice rink to skate on in the winter. Best of all, it has its very own zoo. Every day, families of all kinds go to visit the animals that live there. But children and their parents aren't the only families at the zoo. The animals make families of their own. There are red panda bear families with mothers and fathers and furry red panda bear cubs. There are monkey dads and monkey moms raising noisy monkey babies. There are toad families and toucan families and cotton top tamarind families too. And in the penguin house, there are penguin families. Every year at the very same time, the girl penguins start noticing the boy penguins and the boy penguins start noticing the girl penguins. When the right girl and the right boy find each other, they become a couple. Two penguins in the penguin house were a little bit different. One was named Roy and the other was named Silo. Roy and Silo were both boys, but they did everything together. They bowed to each other and walked together. They sang to each other and swam together. Wherever Roy went, Silo went too. They didn't spend much time with the girl penguins and the girl penguins didn't spend much time with them. Instead, Roy and Silo wound their necks around each other. Their keeper, Mr. Gramsci, noticed the two penguins and thought to himself, they must be in love. Roy and Silo watched how the other penguins made a home. So they built a nest of stones for themselves. Every night, Roy and Silo slept there together, just like the other penguin couples. And every morning, Roy and Silo woke up together. But one day, Roy and Silo saw that the other couples could do something that they could not. The mama penguin would lay an egg. She and the papa penguin would take turns keeping the egg warm until finally it would hatch. And then there would be a baby penguin. Roy and Silo had no egg to sit on and keep warm. They had no baby chick to feed and cuddle and love. Their nest was nice, but it was a little empty. One day, Roy found something that looked like what the other penguins were hatching and brought it to their nest. It was only a rock, but Silo carefully sat on it and sat. When Silo got sleepy, he slept. And when Silo was done sleeping and sitting, he swam and, Silo and Roy sat. Day after day, Silo and Roy sat on the rock, but nothing happened. Then Mr. Gramsci got an idea. He found an egg that needed to be cared for, and he brought it to Roy and Silo's nest. And I'm actually gonna leave it there. So I encourage you, to check out this book so you can find out what happens to that egg that Roy and Silo care for. This has been Entango Makes Three.